You may notice this green light flash across your screen a couple of times. It's puzzling neighbors in Cape Coral, but this is actually the cause. It's a plane flying low over people's homes, scanning the ground with that green laser. Welcome back. I'm Chris Safadi. And I'm Lois Tomey. So what does this plane, what is it doing? Awake News anchor Annette Montgomery joins us in the studio. And Annette, what did you learn? Well, Chris and Lois, I learned who it's not after reaching out to everyone from the city of Cape Coral to the county, to the Florida Division of Emergency Management, to the South Florida Water District and Port Authority. Now, these low-flying planes with green lasers does not belong to them. One neighbor got so fed up, she purchased a flight radar to help narrow down the search for the owner. It's not something you see every day. Oh, geez, it was soft. I mean, it went back and forth at least, I would say, 40 minutes to an hour. But for people living in Cape Coral, they've been seeing it a lot this week. It was really late at night. It was kind of around midnight. It was around midnight. Um, and I, was, I was actually in my car. I was just getting home, and I saw it going back and forth with a laser beam, and it, was, it scanned over me multiple times, and it was just moving. It was scanning the whole area, every square footage, basically, going just forth. That low-flying plane was in Casey Sutton's neighborhood for hours Sunday night. Philip Bertolio saw it the same day, but a few hours earlier while watching the Super Bowl game. When it came by, you could see the green laser light like spread out. Like it was mapping. We heard some of it was mapping the area is what we were told. And it kept going in a north and south Tom's direction, right and it would just go farther to the farther to the west. It kept going north and south and come. It's the first time these neighbors saw a sight like this while looking up at the night sky. So Casey decided to track down who the plane and its lasers belong to. I've never had flight radar until this happened. Cause I'm like, what the heck is going on? But it shows that what kind of plane it was and what type of plane. I don't know who owns it. It just has private owner. When you put the information Casey provided into the FAA website, it comes back with this information saying it's registered to Randigo LLC. But it's unclear who or what they're doing. And we just want to know what's going on, why we're being, why we're being scanned. I also reached out to the U.S. Geological Survey as they are doing some mapping and data collection involving low-flying planes right now. But they told me not only do their planes fly during the day, they also don't use green lasers. I'm still waiting to hear back from the NOAA. I did speak with a representative over the phone, but she was unable to confirm or deny if these planes belong to them.